This video will help you verify that your SOLIDWORKS video card and driver are set up correctly for the current version of SOLIDWORKS that's installed on the system at this time. We'll begin diagnosing the graphical issues by looking in the options within the SOLIDWORKS interface itself. Please note that these options can only be checked when no files are open in the current session of SOLIDWORKS. Here we'll take a look in the system options under performance. What you'll note is the use software OpenGL option is grayed out and checked. This is an indication that the video card or driver may not be supported for SOLIDWORKS use or may not be up to date with the current installation of the application. With the issue found, let's use a tool called the SOLIDWORKS RX to better understand the problem. The SOLIDWORKS RX is included with every seat of SOLIDWORKS. The application can be found in the Windows Start menu under All Applications in a folder called SOLIDWORKS Tools under the SOLIDWORKS Version folder. With the RX tool started, we'll go ahead and go into the Diagnostics option. The results will give us our current make and model and video card driver in use for the application at this time. Below that is the diagnostics results, which tells us what the current problem is and a possible solution to the issues with your SOLIDWORKS graphics. Once a supported video card or driver per SOLIDWORKS recommendations is installed, we'll want to go back into SOLIDWORKS in the options and verify that on the performance settings that the OpenGL option is unchecked and not grayed out. In cases where a supported video card or driver are not available, it may be necessary to leave the OpenGL option checked to avoid instability issues with your SOLIDWORKS application. The last item to note is back in the SOLIDWORKS RX program. We'll now see that there's a green check in the status check for the video card and driver that we have installed as well as an indication in the results that saying our card is supported and up to date. This concludes our video. If you have any further questions or concerns, please contact the Sci Solutions Technical Support. Thank you.